Hi friends, welcome to Boarding Adventure. Today's travel guide is from the first national park in the US which is Yellowstone spanning over three states most prominently being Wyoming and then Montana and Idaho. Sitting at the top of a super volcano which erupted over 6,000 years ago, the heat from those eruptions still fuel the park's hot springs, mud pools, fumaroles and the world's largest collection of geysers. Here are Sia and Abby sharing with you everything we did on our three days in Yellowstone and also what all the park has to offer. Being a one-place destination for varied geology, this national park is not just known for the hot thermal lands but also the picturesque canyon, hikes, the mighty waterfalls, mountains, valleys and also plenty of wildlife. We drove from Salt Lake City to Jackson in Wyoming, more on that in the videos linked above and after exploring Grand Teton National Park, we made our way to the south entrance of the park. Our first stop was the iconic Old Faithful Geyser. After knowing the exact time of its next eruption from the visitor center or the lodge which averages about 75 minute intervals, we sat on the benches around this mercy marvel to see it erupt to heights of 130 feet. When parked in the area, we recommend a 3-mile round trip from visitor center to the morning glory pool. You can see multiple geysers and hot springs over the entire geothermal land including popular ones like Castle, Grotto and Grand Geyser. A walk at sunrise and sunset adds a special touch to the entire experience. Our favorite undoubtedly was the grand famous bright and saturated with hues of yellow and green, the morning glory pool. To grab a bite after the hike, you can head to the cafeteria at Old Faithful Lodge for a delicious noodle bowl. Our next stop on the drive up north was the Biscuit Basin. On this half mile boardwalk you can see beautiful hot springs and shooting geysers. Geysers have a constriction at the opening making it impossible for the circulating water to come to the surface and cool. Hence they erupt with steaming hot water. Definitely check this place for the stunning sapphire pool and the mustard springs. The orange, blue, yellow and green colors come from the thermophiles which are heat-loving microorganisms in the hot spring pools. Also located in this area is the black sand basin built over the black volcanic glass sand. Located near the entry, West Ham Geyser Basin is another popular area. We saw the elk grazing next to the hot springs. The sky blue abyss pool is the deepest hot spring in the park. This basin is also where you can take a walk next to the west thumb of the huge Yellowstone Lake and see the boiling water discharge into the chilly waters of the lake. There are beautiful lakes both inside and outside the park for a picnic on the shore, a boat ride or fly fishing. To end the day, we enjoyed a yummy dinner of quinoa veggie patties and a cheeseburger at the Yellowstone Hotel restaurant. 
West Yellowstone is a great place to stay in the proximity of the park, a bustling town where you can find many activities to do or souvenir shops. You can often see wildlife along the road when driving, so keep an eye for the same. Nevertheless, the traffic congestions will definitely guide you to much of it. Coming from the west entrance, our first stop was the Midway Geyser Basin which is home to the deep blue Excelsior Geyser and also the most famous and the largest hot spring pool in the park and the third largest in the world, the Grand Prismatic. We surely recommend going for the short though steep 30 minute hike to the viewpoint of the Grand Prismatic Spring. Trail lies south of the Midway Geyser Basin but the bird's eye view is gorgeous and definitely our favorite in the park. Unlike geysers, the hot spring water cools at the surface then sinks freely, gets heated by magma and rises again as superheated water. You can also take a short one-way detour to the Firehole Canyon Drive. There are many popular waterfalls in the park like Tower Falls, Firehole Falls and Gibbon Falls. At the Lower Geyser Basin, we took a short drive on the Firehole Lake Drive to the Wide Dome Geyser which erupts every 45 minutes. Another must-do thing is the quick boardwalk at the fountain paint pots to wonder at the beautiful Celestine pool and the bubbling paint pots and the mud hole. After staying in Gardener for the night, we entered through the north entrance for a final day at Yellowstone. Our first stop was the Mammoth Hot Springs. We took a quick walk to the lower terraces, the Palace Springs being in particular. Next we took the steps to the upper terraces, our favorite being the Mount Spring and the Canary Terraces. Mammoth Hot Springs is one of the most unique features of the park and also the ever-changing with chalk-like limestone deposit terraces and the hot spring water flowing over them. On our way to the canyon village, we saw a grizzly bear in the woods. It was a mama bear with a cub who was hiding in the bushes. At the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone, we first took the South Rim Drive to the Artist Point to see the colorful canyon with the Yellowstone River carving its way and the lower falls at a distance. You can also view the upper falls from Uncle Tom's Point or continue on the North Rim Drive for a hike to the brink of lower falls.
At the drive are the many viewpoints with a quick walk from the parking lot like the lookout point, grand view and the inspiration point. You can also hike the rim trail along the canyon to access these scenic vistas. Lamar Valley is the most popular place to view wildlife especially at sunrise and sunsets. You can view and photograph bisons which can be seen in huge numbers. People also seem to hear pack of wolves later in the evening in the area. If time permits, you can hike the 0.6 mile loop of Porcelain Trail in Norris Geyser Basin or take a quick walk to the Emerald Spring and the tallest geyser in the world, Steamboat Geyser in Back Basin. Artist paint pots are known for their mud pots which are acidic hot springs. This acid emerges from volcanic gases and microorganisms that decompose surrounding rock into clay and mud. So guys that was all from our travels to Yellowstone National Park. Hope you enjoyed the video, found it useful and if you did please do like, comment and subscribe to this channel. Also don't forget to hit the bell icon to not miss an upload at Boarding Adventure.